us an arm wrap choke. It's good when you're on the ground if you can get the guard or get the person in a mount like I am now. So from a mount position, you know, he's doing whatever with his hands. I want to get a hand cross here. And then I immediately want to drop my weight onto his tricep to pin that down. Get my head down out of here so he can't do anything. Then I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to sneak it under his neck where I can grab that wrist that's down here. And you know, it might take a second to find it, and that's okay because in this position, if I have his hands, he's not hurting me. So I got a couple seconds to reach in here, and then I find that wrist. And then I want you to hold that wrist tight. Then you're going to take this hand, slip it under his elbow to the other side of his neck, and grab your own arm. And you notice what that's doing is that's creating, his arm is here, it's creating that X. V, whatever you want to call it, but it's going to crunch in like that is what we want to do. So we pushed it over, we went down, we grabbed, we sneaked this in here. I'm just coming up to show. Normally I'd stay really tight down there, but then when you're here, you crunch that on. And you can do that with your head down here and you just crunch it on and put him out. Okay. So a very good choke if you can get it. And again, the, the keys on it, we'll do it this other way, is I push this here, reach under, grab. This hand reaches under, see how it's grabbing my arm, and we can lock the choke in. I'll turn just a little bit, right? Make sure you can see this good. Pushing, coming down, grabbing, go under, grab your own arm, squeeze. Pushing that out of the way, weight on it, Grab it under, push this down, making sure those arm, that arm bone is on the side of his neck, squeeze. Okay. Now let's look at that if you were on the bottom. One of the things we're going to do is if I can get this guy in the guard here, okay, I'm going to roll to be on the top to actually execute the choke. So I want to get this here where I'm hooking him, and I'm going to get the arm up where I can grab it. Once I'm here, I'm okay. So I've got my arm around and I've got his wrist and I'm hugging him. Then I want to roll him and we're going to roll this way. Now I'm right back where I started and I can go into the choke. So it's the same thing. It's just you use that to roll a person. And you roll them the way that you're holding his arm. So this way, if I were to push his hand this way and get this, I'd be in trouble because I can't roll because of the wall, right? So we got to get him this way and get this up here. Now I'm hugging him tight, I'm pulling, and then I'm going to... One thing I can do is I can post a little and help me roll there. Once I'm on top, sneak that hand in for the choke. Nice little triangle there. So that's just sort of a fun little choke that you can do that will be applicable when you're on the ground.